Hey everybody, Matt aka Skiar here with another quick tutorial for those of you playing through Lords of the Fallen. Today we're going to take a quick look at the most efficient way to beat the Worshipper boss found in the graveyard area near the beginning of the game in Lords of the Fallen. This boss might give a few people some trouble, so I thought it might be handy to understand his mechanics for anybody having a bit of a struggle. First things first, since the vast majority of players are going to be relying heavily on melee attacks still at this point in the game, we're going to be watching this from a strength based character's perspective, but the general strategy should work for anybody. His attack patterns do shift if you're further away from him, so be aware there is a potential strategy shift depending on how your character's playstyle is working, but this one should work for pretty much everybody. Now the boss is going to follow a very standard pattern of 2-3 to three attacks, followed by a quick stop, and then as long as you're close, he's going to slam his weapon into the ground, stunning you if you're caught in the blue aura he gives off, as well as slightly outside of it, so be aware that the range is a little bit deceptive. Your weapon may not be identical to mine, so you'll need to test how many swings you can get in before needing to stop and recover so you can back up and get out of range. For me, I usually needed to do one, although if I started my attack pattern fast enough, I could sneak in a second. It's fairly critical that you do get out of range because you can technically mash out of his stun, but it's not going to work every time, and if he hits you after that, you do take quite a bit of damage. The fight is very simple at this point in time, you can just basically repeat the pattern for each quarter of his health with ease. Once you break a 25% mark on his health bar, he'll finish his current attack rotation, and then he'll kneel down. This starts a defensive posture, which means he doesn't take a whole lot of damage, and he summons random spots on the ground that do damage if you stand in them, you're going to notice those are blue. He's also going to summon some enemies that are going to come and attack you. You're going to avoid the blue spots as you run to one of the altars. As he ends the phase, he's going to slam the ground, and it will kill you anywhere on the map if you don't make it to one of the altars for protection. Nothing else seems to guard you from the special attack, and it hits for about 2,000 damage, your character has about 200 health maybe, so this is probably a good... You're going to want to avoid these spots as you run to one of the altars, as at the end of the phase he's going to slam the ground and he'll kill you anywhere on the map. Nothing seems to protect you except for these altars, and it's definitely going to one-shot you, so a lot of people have probably been having a little bit of a struggle at this point. As I said, he summons adds during this phase, but you don't necessarily have to kill them. When he slams the ground, he's actually going to one-shot all these adds as well. So all you need to do is defend yourself. Even if they make it inside of the altar with you, they still take damage from the attack. You'll notice after the first quarter of his health, he was taking full damage while down from me. This tends to happen sometimes as bosses are still a little bit glitchy, and I'm pretty sure this was a bug. By the end of the fight, you can see I had such a health lead that I just kind of accepted the damage I was going to be taking, and I pushed the boss really hard to try to finish him off. If you aren't sitting in a very comfortable level of health, I suggest following the standard hit hit, back off, wait for the AoE rotation before you end the encounter. Congratulations, you just beat another boss in Lord of the Fallen. It seems easy enough, but the process of learning it can be a little bit frustrating, so I thought why not throw out a little bit of help for players. Anyways, if you found this tutorial helpful or anything else along those lines or you'd like to see more content, make sure to subscribe on YouTube or follow me at MattSkiar on Twitter. Hope you guys are enjoying the game as much as I am. There's definitely some heavier enemies coming up ahead, so be ready for those. There's a lot of shields and a lot of trouble trying to get around those. Good luck, keep on playing, it's a lot of fun. At the time of this tutorial, I haven't completely finished the game yet, but I'm having an absolute blast. It absolutely feels like one of the Dark Souls games. You're going to have a great time if you enjoyed those, although it is a little bit easier for those who found Dark Souls a little bit too challenging and frustrating. Catch you guys next time, see you soon. Thanks again for watching GoMeXP, my name is Matt, aka Skiar Rathbun.